the Bahamas. A beautiful country in the Caribbean that has over 700 islands, but only 30 of them are inhabited by people. In this video, we will explore the capital of the country, Nassau. We will see two completely different sides of it. Incredible beaches with the blue water and white sand and harsh reality of poverty and garbage that you can see around. I promise it's going to be super interesting, so prepare some tea and let's get it started. Our main purpose of the trip to the Bahamas was to renew our American student visas, and we successfully managed to do that. I already have the first video about this on my channel, so you can watch it later. And now let's see what the island has to offer. Every trip starts with the place where you will be living. Bahamas is quite an expensive place and the hotel's prices were quite high. So I will choose falling into renting an Airbnb so that we will be able to cook. And now let me show you our wonderful place. Our apartment is located from the back side. So when you just enter the building, you see here a big living room combining with the kitchen. Our bedroom was spacious enough and there was everything that we might need such as iron, towels or aircon. We mainly book it because of the location since it's not so far from the downtown and we needed to go there for our visa renewal in the embassy. And honestly, like I'm happy with it, but I also wonder how the big house looked like. So I asked to check it out. The first floor features a spacious living area with a kitchen, while the second floor has three bedrooms, enough for eight people, two bathrooms and a beautiful balcony. So we are just thrilled about our choice of Airbnb. I honestly amazed and I didn't even expect it's going to be that cool. Uh, even though maybe we are not living in such a huge apartment, but a small one, but it also looks lovely. So when you're going to be in Bahamas, you know the perfect place to stay in. Bahamas are mostly famous for its beautiful beaches and of course we couldn't wait to explore them ourselves. Good morning my friends, we are starting exploring Nassau and right now we are going to probably the most popular attraction kinda and it's considered to be one of the richest places there and I know that the beaches there should be just amazing so we really want to check it out and it's actually the island located just next to Nassau called Paradise Beach, let's go to check it out. By the way, uh, most norm all normal people would take a car or probably taxi or maybe bus but we decided to walk one hour and 50 minutes over there <laughs> let's go most of our road went along the ocean which of course was so picturistic five huge liners wow where is he going to park we also saw a local police station look at how policemen go here wow and we also walk along the downtown area we right now came to the downtown of Nassau. Here you can see so many very expensive hotels, lots of souvenir shops, like some boutiques, also coffee shops. I think we're gonna take one right now. It looks lovely, a bit superficial because you know it's all made for tourists, but still enjoyable to walk here. It turned out that there were not many cafes there, so we went to the Starbucks instead. 40 minutes walk done, one hour and five minutes more, a short break. I took some milkshake with a frappuccino, chocolate frappuccino with a coffee, amazing. And the view, very, very nice. The only thing that I'm a bit worried is that it's not so sunny today and probably it would be better to go to the Paradise Beach when it's like sunshine. But we still have one hour more, so let's hope that this um, clouds will disappear. When you walk from the downtown a bit, you see a completely different picture, with many destroyed buildings and trash. Okay! <laughs> Have you seen this hotel? It's Atlantics, Atlantics, right? Yeah, so I think it's like the most popular hotel in the Bahamas. The photos of which you immediately see if you Google Nassau. It's very beautiful there, by the way. On Paradise Island, there is a different kind of transfer around. Oof. Me walking with the, the cheapest grocery bag. That's the style, guys. That's the student style. Masha, where is our boat? Like, choose any, any, I, I think. 
That one? Yeah, that one as ours? Paradise Island definitely impressed us. The area was incredible, but we were mostly interested in the Cabbage Beach, which is considered to be the best here. The only thing, no one is swimming. And it's not surprising because the waves were quite huge. But in the end of the beach, we found the perfect spot where they were not as large, so we were able to swim and enjoy our time in this wonderful place. It's definitely the best place we visited in Nassau so far, like the views, like those waves. It's so pretty. Also behind you can see palms and water. It's so blue, clean, uh, very warm and Wow, definitely a picture to remember for all your life. So recommend you to come here. As for now, we actually have been here already for a few hours. We're a bit hungry. And now it's going to be a new challenge to find some affordable place in probably the most expensive place on the whole island. Friends, please promise to me, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to press the like button. Oh, it seems as the cheapest place to eat on this island is actually Wendy's truck. Why not? So, uh, cola, potatoes and one burger cost us $12. And by the way, it's the first time when there were no taxes. Because every time we've been eating, like in the groceries or buying food or eating out, like they take 10% tax here, they did not. So, bon appetit. As you can see, my friends, I try to travel as much as possible, even during my MBA studies. Let it be a weekend in Boston, a trip to visit my friend in Colombia, or renew my visa here in Bahamas. And for my trips, I always prefer to choose convenient suitcases and backpacks. And now, let me introduce you to the sponsor of today's video, Level 8 Cases. I've been using the amazing suitcases for a year already, and I can tell you surely that those were the best ones I've ever had. Stylish spacious and move very easily even if they are packed with stuff. I cannot not to mention their backpacks which are so convenient. I can walk with them for hours without feeling any back pain. Check out the link in the description of this video to get your dream suitcase with a 10% off by using Dari10 discount code and as for now let's continue to explore the hand. While walking in Nassau, you can see everywhere advertisements of different rum cakes. And it seems to be one of the most popular dishes here, so of course I just had to try one. I've chosen one with coconut rum, so this is how it looks. Let's try it out. Mm, like the smell, you feel a little bit of coconut, but you don't feel a hogo much, and it's super soft. Let's try. Mmm, it's very delicious. It's very sweet. You don't feel a hogo like at all and a little bit of coconut aftertaste and super soft like I love it a lot. Totally recommend it. Wow. Hello from a brand new day my friends and what I can say. It's an absolute paradise. Just look at the color of this water so blue just wow mm. so the plan for the day is actually i need to work a little bit today so right now it's the beach time we're gonna rest a little bit then we're gonna buy some groceries however nasa has a completely different side that tourists don't see during the time we spent here, we often walk deeper to the island where the locals live. And there you often see poverty, many destroyed houses, signs with photos of missing people, and garbage. A lot of garbage. But as they say, there are no perfect places on the planet. So I'm still glad we were able to see this part of the country. And it's closed, even though it's written on Google that it's open right now. Don't believe Google in Bahamas, please. Therefore, we went to a smaller convenience store nearby. Hi, how are you? By the way, the entrance is being blocked. So you need to knock, they will unblock it, and only after that 
you will be able to enter. We took just a few groceries, like juice, milk, pasta, tuna, eggs, and two candies, and the total came out to thirty dollars. Do you think it's expensive or not? So good! Oh my gosh, Masha, you have to try it. Bye bye. Here we prepared a very delicious dinner. It's pasta with tuna and pasta sauce. It should be very very tasty. And this is usually how we've been eating all this time in Nassau. The thing is that it's very expensive here to eat out. But worth to mention that groceries here are very expensive as well. We've been uh, in a grocery, one of the cheapest like places where only locals go and our bill was like 170 dollars and we just bought one package of meat one package of chicken and a few things like you know juice a little bit vegetables like not so much it's twice more than in new york city one of the most expensive cities in the world so we've been shocked first of all when we saw it and then we also talk to locals and they all suffer how locals can afford so expensive groceries it's boy 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 it's hard trust me especially they mentioned that after pandemic government doesn't really care about them and it's getting more expensive but the salaries don't grow and for them groceries are very very pricey and actually that's very sad and that also like you know two sides of bahamas like one if this luxurious holidays like chilean cruises and etc another side it's where groceries are so pricey that some locals cannot afford them when you're in bahamas there is one very cool and fun activity which is like a must thing to do and it's probably the most popular uh, attraction here and this is swimming with the peaks exactly where we're going right now not going to lie it was very nice to stroll downtown in the morning without the crowds of tourists by the way on that day we took a ride on the local bus for the first time which cost us one and a half dollars and the doors were open there all the time the only thing that I completely forgot that I'm super uh, sea sick and I always need to pee before going on a boat. Of course, I forgot about this and right now everything is closed. So uh, we will see how it's going to be. <laughs> Anyways, Masha and I were super excited about the tour. We got on the boat and the trip began. Many celebrities buy houses in the Bahamas and the guides even showed us some of them. Like this house with the columns in the middle turned out to be Oprah Winfrey's. And here lives the CEO of Starbucks on the left and Chuck Norris on the right. On the way we saw some beautiful islands and we spotted this cutie. We just stopped on the way because we saw a huge turtle. So pretty. Wow, I want to see it here. In the just 10 minutes, we saw a sufficient number of them. i never seen so many large turtles in one place, so I was insanely impressed. And later, impressions only increased. The next stop was snorkeling in the middle of the ocean. Unforgettable emotions. And we finally came to our final destination. This is a big island. I already can see them. They're so cute. I cannot wait to pet them. Uh, and basically in Bahamas, there are main, two main islands where you can hang out with the pigs. It's Rose Island where we're right now, which is quite close to Nassau. And there is also Exuma. But to that place, you actually need to take a plane, which is going to be around an hour or something. But we are not going very far so far. And we are coming there. And that's our guy. Just look at this! There were dozens of wild pigs swimming in the water, eating fruits from the hands of tourists and posing for photos. They were so adorable, especially the little piglets. The cuteness level was off the charts. My friends, this is absolutely incredible emotion. Sorry, sorry. Just look at them! Look at these big bugs! They're so cute! And the small ones, like... I just want to pet, pet, pet them. And that's what we're gonna do it right now. <laughs> Of course, all they really wanted was to eat, but honestly, we were all okay with that. Locals gave us some fruits and we started feeding them for about an hour and all those times we just couldn't stop smiling. It's 
so amazing. I will remember it for the rest of my life, for sure. Does it worth it? It's incredible, absolutely worth it. It's incredible memories, like wow. Definitely highlight of our trip to Bahamas, right? So cute. On the way back, we saw a local party on the barge. It could be so cool to join them, maybe next time. And so it was an unforgettable experience. They were so cute, oh my gosh, like definitely I will remember for all my life. I also would like to recommend you the travel company that we went on a tour with. It's called Secret Case. It's a small family-owned company, so I think it's much better than big touristic boats. There were not so many people and people were so, so nice. They did their best so we will get the best experience and thank you for them so much. By the way, I will attach the link in the description of this video, so when you're in Bahamas, check them out. And as for now, where should we go? Beach or... yes. <laughs> Just look what a beautiful hat I found yesterday in the water. Uh, it's a big big on me, but I think it still looks good, so I'm happy about this. Anyways, always wear, by the way, hats and sunscreen because Masha, my friend with whom I came here, she had a sunstroke a few days ago, so she just spent three days in bed. All websites on the internet say there are two best beaches in Nassau. It's the one we've been before on Paradise Island, and another one, it shows one hour to have walk again, so we prepared this time a bit more let's go to check it out by the way someone is feeding these little cuties our road was along the ocean with incredible colors of the water as well as next to expensive hotels and a golf course unfortunately after 40 minutes of walking we realized that it's been already quite late and we wouldn't have enough time to enjoy the beach until the sunset so we decided to stay halfway at the Goodman Bay. Even though we didn't make it to the beach that we planned to go in the beginning, it's still so lovely here. Like you can see so many different shadows of water, like blue, incredible water. And especially when it's sunny, like the weather is nice, but when sun goes down, it's actually becoming quite cold as it's happening right now. But anyway, we just saw that they've been selling ice cream in the hotel and I wonder if we will be able to buy one. The beach was amazing and the main activity here turned out to be jet skiing and here are the prices for them. It's so cold, I'm really sad that I didn't take any jackets with me and we've just been waiting for the sun to come out from the shadow or from the clouds. <laughs> Yeah, worth to mention that not many people are feeling right now. It doesn't seem that soon it's going to be sunny. So we decided that probably we should go home and cook something for the dinner. A few days later we still decided to see that place that we didn't reach earlier. And this time we took the bus. The place is called Cabo Beach and the water there was so beautiful. But almost the entire beach is within the hotel area so we couldn't go there. And therefore there was not much space to lay down. And now let me share a couple of interesting facts about the Bahamas. Firstly, they drive on the left side of the road like in Britain, which is not surprising considering the fact that Bahamas were a British colony in the past. Speaking about the local currency, it's actually Bahamian dollars, which are absolutely equal to American dollars. So when you come here, it's very easy uh, to pay for everything because you don't need to change currency. They accept American dollars and for your change, they actually give you a mixture of local dollars and American dollars, so very convenient. By the way, we could hardly pay with the Apple Pay anywhere, so don't forget to bring your physical card or cash on the island. As for the language that they speak in Bahamas, it's actually English. It's an official language here, so you have no problems communicating with the locals, either in the touristy places or in the local areas. The temperature in Bahamas is perfect all around the year with an average of 21 to 27 degrees Celsius and it makes the island to be a perfect spot for a holiday throughout the year. Do you recognize this place? This is the Cabbage Beach a couple of days later. This time the weather was fantastic and so, so sunny. And now there are no waves, like perfect place really. The color of the water is fantastic. 
definitely, definitely the best beach here in Nassau. We just had an absolutely best time. We walked towards the end of this beach and turned to the side and it was kind of a secret beach with no people, super beautiful views, some very expensive houses far away and also there was a, a golf field nearby but no people, like so enjoyable and the water was so transparent, wow. The bad thing was that in the evening we saw a huge snake on our house and to say that we were shocked is an understatement. Lovely? Beautiful. Beautiful? Yes. Amazing. I want to Let's her. run from it. <laughs> the snake, by the way, turned out to be super venomous and them I'm so glad I didn't check it out while I was in Bahamas. One of the most traditional things here in Bahamas is actually Rome. Uh, of course, I couldn't help but try one. We bought this bottle of Rome from Nassau with coconut. It looks very beautiful and I don't know, I like coconut. The only thing, I'm not a huge fan of hard ahogo, so let's give it a shot, shall we? Oh my God, wait. It's actually so good. It's like, you feel it's sweet. Like you feel a deep taste of coconut, which is amazing. It's a bit strong, it's 30 degrees, but it doesn't feel like strong I don't know, like bad thing. Wow, I totally recommend you. Speaking about the local cuisine, we were told to try their fried fish, which we did twice. And yes, it was insanely delicious. Anyways, this is how our time in Bahamas went. It's definitely a country of contrasts, from incredibly friendly locals to get calling on the streets, from beautiful beaches to garbage all over the island, from poverty to expensive groceries in the stores. But we really enjoyed our time here, and this country is definitely worth visiting. Friends, if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to press the like button, subscribe to my channel, and let's explore the world together.